deep. Okay, this is gonna be pretty hard. He could obliterate my my Tom Kench, but Tom Kench, uh, but Tom, I can technically buff Tom Kench's health, so he can actually obliterate it with his sea monster. I guess I always keep keep you and keep Udia. I mean, Udia is another win condition. Also, it's another bait for vengeance, I guess you could say. Shatter is interesting. I don't know this, that's my win condition, you could say. So, just give me a Radiant Soul. You know, so that is, it's that easy. Oh, maybe I should have played this on curve, but yeah, it is what it is. And more draw, that's fine. Okay, sure. Fine. I guess I can play you. I mean, I like draw. If I can get Tom Kench on turn 4, that'd be pretty nice. Mm, not, but I can play you on on turn 4 and then play Udia to discount the stance. That'd be pretty nice. Ooh, okay. I was hoping that he wouldn't burn like a vengeance or something like that. But, you know, it is what it is. I guess I do this, right? Because uh, Ram Stance can technically heal them both because Ram Stance deal one damage to all, to everything, right? Yeah. Let's go with that play. That's pretty nice, I guess. You could take continuously uh, Frostbite uh, Nautilus, which is pretty good. I might, have, have, I might not have blockers for all of his sea monsters, so I need to slowly, slowly chip them back. Like Frostbite. I mean, I got Ram Stance here, technically. I mean, sure, less Ram Stance. So next turn, I can get another Stance from Udia, right? Instead of discounting this one. That should be fine. He can't really do anything to answer this because if he removes the unit, the ramp stand still still goes, so. Yeah. He still tosses two cards I'm pretty sure. Oh one only, that's that's good. Well sir, that's that's fine. I won't be able to attack but I don't really need to. That's Tom Kench, that's pretty good. But I think I always play Udia, right? Because it's just Udia. You gotta bait him out to, to use something, right? Pretty annoying, but I can use the, the two cards you need to block. I can also use Udia, technically. But I don't think I want to trade my Udia to this 7 5. I, 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 I don't mind trading my, my two cards to one, since this sea monster does not have overwhelm. It might not even attack. Okay, he attacked. Attack with the spider though. I mean, he wanted to, he want me to kill the spider right so he can go deep. I guess that makes sense. So sure. Path. A free stance is always nice. So I just pass here, always. Now though, the problem is, do I play Shaman here or do I play Tom Kench? Tom Kench need to be pretty big to eat some of the sea monsters that he's gonna be playing. And I don't have any like hand buff currently and other than Alex of Iron. I think I will just use Shatter on you first. So I can get a free attack with Udia here. Again, another stance. Udia is a threat, right? So he soon or later he needs to vengeance Udia. Because a level Udia with overwhelm is very dangerous. He's not that he's not deep just yet, so not to less. He's not gonna level next turn. I guess I always give. If I attack here, I don't get the free, free right. I need to spend the the stance first. OM is fine. I can start doing damage now. But regeneration is also pretty good. I guess regeneration, right? So we can actually tank a few hits on later turns. Vengeance. If this vengeance, then I guess I'm playing shaman here. To frostbite this unit, right? Because this unit is gonna be a seven fight next turn. He might say he might not want a vengeance with you here because he might think I have Tom Kench in hand. And if he vengeance uh with you, Tom Kench is gonna eat him up, eat all of his uh sea monsters. So he let this go through, sure. I can get a free hit again with Udia. He might block because you know if he this dies, he toss another card, right? Vengeance, okay, that's vengeance. Let it go through, sure. So I definitely play Shaman here. And when the Shaman frost by this guy, I can actually be eat the sea monster because of Tom Kench, you know, getting buffed. Uh, I don't know when they get buffed, but you know, recently I guess you could say. That when he's summoned, he can give me another of the 
aquatic taste, acquired taste. So I can technically eat the sea monster this turn. That's a play, but you know, vengeance, second vengeance. He did he haven't burned any vengeance, right? I'm pretty sure. That's not. Ooh. This is an interesting thing. I can eat Nautilus this turn, but if he has vengeance later on, that's gonna be pretty rough. So gotta hope, make sure he doesn't kill my Tom Kench here. So only play, only thing that ruined this play is vengeance. That's the only thing. We used one vengeance. I haven't really been keeping track of all the other cards that he's been tossing. So hopefully he tossed like a few, a few of the vengeance. He, most most of the decks run like two, right? I'm pretty sure. It's seven hundred. You know, I can tank the game. I don't know if he block and give him, you know, stuff to toss, right? The fact that he's attacking, showing that he might have vengeance for Tom Kench, and he's just attacking just so he can, you know, start, start doing the what? Start, uh, stop tossing cards for the Nautilus that's going to be coming up from Tom Kench if he vengeance him. Okay, there's more tosses. He can't have vengeance. Oh, okay, that's pretty scary. Fierce some units. I guess I still eat this, right? Yeah, I guess I still eat this. He doesn't have mana for vengeance. Tosses. Ooh. I mean, it's only going to be three, uh, three attack, and he has that. Oh my god, this guy is the luckiest man alive. Sure. Tom Kench is still alive here. He needs to eat one more unit, and then he levels. So that's pretty good. I really want to play a second shot. Okay. A little with less health. I can technically buff the shaman self. Let's just go for it, man. Okay. I do this. I do this. Right. I was hoping I can play the second, uh, the second sham shaman, but I don't want my this shaman to die here, right? So that's the play, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm dead though. He got two of his uh treasures. So lucky, man. Is there any any point of attacking with this unit? I mean, no allows him to toss more cards, and he might get another Nautilus, which is pretty bad. I guess it's just crazy. I guess he always just does this right to, to kill my my Tom Kench, but I can technically buff him out of range. Yeah, he does this. Yeah, I get Nautilus and the unit. So I guess I can go for this play. I go fear the no ten mana, and the five mana. Fear the no five mana. I'll be at I'll be at six. I can throw Chan again, and I can use a quiet taste to eat one of the other units like this one and obliterate the Nautilus in my Tom Kench. That's the play. Okay, that's the play, I guess. So I do this. I buff Tom Kench away. It's 5 7 now. This unit uh, does die. I guess I just use Elixir of Iron for now. So, yeah, that should be fine. And I always eat this unit, right? With Tom Kench, so. That's the play, I guess. And obliterate the Nautilus in my deck. In my Tom Kench. Well, feast. Annoying. Sure, I guess I'm taking 5 here. Because I need to save Trochan, right? Just in case I want to uh, eat another unit. Toss two more units, he might get another Nautilus, which is pretty, pretty scary. It's pretty close, he might mute my deck too, which is also pretty bad. So is he this to destroy the uh, units in my, in my Tom Kench? And after he attacks, I heal, so I'll be at 6. He can't atrocity these units, so gonna get extra. He might he need to use this, then atrocity. So hopefully, I'll draw into another prospect card like this and something like that. So go bye bye Nautilus, go bye bye Sheep Red Holder, and go bye bye Obliterate Card. So I need I I can I can tank the hits and I can just heal the turn. Yeah. Heal always to play around atrocity. And then I end round. Okay, no, it's quite a pretty useless here. Udia, Udi can give Tom Kench regeneration and can technically block another unit. Or Shaman, Shaman can frostbite another unit, which is also pretty good. I guess I play Udia here. Can Yeah, I guess I play Udia here. Either way I still die to atrocity, right? He just plays this and this atrocity is the face. So I just gotta, you know, do what I gotta do for now. Sure. Ram stands always. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Udia has become a 9-7, I can just attack Udia this turn if I need to. And then I have two more mana. I can technically acquire this this unit. I anyway, I can because Tom can't just three health. I can't. 
I need to be one health and above, right? So the rest of this uh tag is champions. I think this is like what? Maokai? Most likely or Nautilus. If it's Nautilus, it's pretty good. I, I think. I guess it's just a tag with Uya here for a stance. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 10 now. So now Uya can technically help me win the game. If he doesn't remove Uya. Okay, that's pretty scary. Okay, sure. I guess I always block all of these units, right? And because Tom Kench uh, obliterated all the units in uh, that he captured, I guess I can technically trade with uh, Tom uh, Tom Kench here because I'd only be afraid of Tom Kench dying because Tom Kench does not. Uh, it's not what Tom Kench does not give any extra units to him. So I'm pretty safe here, I guess. He gets Maokai. Oh, he gets another sapling, and sapling can pull on my units. Yeah, I just I gotta capture Maokai here. Because if he gets the sapling for Maokai, he can pull on my units away and I can block the A8. So I need to I need to block the A8 and I must uh, take 3 damage here. Right? I guess that's the plan. You play any units I always develop and heal. Right? I guess that's the, also the play. Yeah, he plays Nautilus. He gets all the sea monsters back, but sea monsters are units. If I open an attack with E and X, he could win. What can I do this turn? I can't eat, obviously, because, you know. That's just dumb. This is just kills me, right? Healing should always be the play here, I guess. Yeah, and I throw chant to save the Udia and stance again. Yeah, just let's just go with that. So I heal here, always the developer unit. So now he, I know that he doesn't have any atrocities and stuff like that. It's good to know. So I always just block like this, like this, like like this, like this. He gets Maokai back, but that's fine. One of the other problems is that I might not be able to win with Udia here because Udia, we get overwhelmed, sure, but I don't think it's enough to hit a Nautilus because Nautilus has eleven health. That's the problem. Are we at three cards? Sure, I guess I always do the throw chat to save Udia. Alright. Uh, Take the tree damage. Nah, pass. I can't. I can't draw. I would like to draw to see my all my options. But if I draw, I just die. Right. I only have three. I toss two and I draw two. I just die. So Oem is always the play, I guess. It's a twelve, but you can't really beat through a Nautilus so big. Uh, I guess the only the only options, the only way I win this game was actually that he top deck Maokai and he just block with five. But I don't know if I can. It's still not enough because you have you still have 13 health. Not good enough. I can play Dumbo Shaman. Dumbo Shaman. I force by you, you. I block. I guess. Yeah. Let's just you know just stall this out. I have I have one more turn after this. So see what happens. The frost reveals all to me. Sure. Another stance, I mean, I don't think that would do a lot because I need to block with Udia here. What is this? Maokai? Okay. He burns both of his units though, so I don't know why he did that. He might want to though. Ooh, wow, lucky. He actually got it. I guess, he, I guess I let this go through. I frost spike this unit. And uh, he pulls one of my units. I use another shaman to block the 7 7 and he attacks both. Two damage from Maokai, sure. Actually, he actually got pretty lucky there. Yeah, so this is the play. I take two damage here and I play Howling Abyss. So, Howling. The only way I've been here, I guess, is Howling Abyss. I mean, I can get a Raelian, so a Raelian so can manifest a, a five, 5 cost unit that gives me overwhelm. Yeah, I'm not surrendering. Not until I'm done. Maokai and uh, a uh, Raelian so here. Gwen, not enough. This is not enough. I die here, right? Uh, I just stop take this guy and I'm just die. Ah, so close. What a strange, wonderful world. Hoping for like a a Raelian soul. But he just had he just had the freaking Maokai and just I'm done. GG I guess. Might as well just buff this Gwen up to you know push damage. Sure, let's go with that. GG. 
such a close one. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, I guess. I'ma just kill myself now. Yeet. GG. Victor Seraphine is gonna be generating a bunch of stuff that I just hate. But I'll see what I can do. I guess I, guess I always keep you as a draw. Yeah, sure. Oh dear, that's one of my main conditions, but you know, vengeance is a thing. I pass. I see Archer. Sure. I guess I play you on a curve. Do damage, sure. Get my wild piece, actually. Doesn't, okay. Alex of Iron, sure. Don't get too good of a card. He got that, I mean. Sure. Alert, the Pro Chan is fine. Oh, where's my oh, Tom Kenchen Howling Abyss? You like to have them? Time tricks? Sure. Sure. That's pretty annoying though. You might discount like a glorious evolution. So gotta be wary of that. Oh, Ruination too. Hey, yeah, that's my one of my win conditions, you could say. I always take the free 2 damage. She's not that long, obviously. I can ramp stance the loser unit technically this turn, but I guess not. Kidding, just using ramp, using one of my stance to kill a uh, loser unit. That's pretty not nice. I can let that hit. I play Udia, he might waste mana to Vengeance Udia, which I don't mind, because I have a Halloween Abyss next turn. And he might play Bakari Bar next turn, right? Turn 6, he's definitely playing Bakari Bar. Ooh, he used one of his attacks on the pretty good. That means he doesn't have Aftershock for my Howling Abyss, that's good, you know? Yeah, that's fine. He baited out Aftershock, which I'm just happy about that. That's just a free Ram stance if I need to really deal with this unit now. I guess I can... Turn 6 I might pass honestly because he might... He got that card? Ah oh, sure, that's fine. I might pass turn 6. I mean I am playing a slow game. So if I pass, I'm... he might play back at a bar turn 6. And I play my Howling Abyss turn 6. Does? Oh, um, that's that's fine. I guess I do this now. I should ram stance, right? Because I don't want that loser genetic. Just ram, just continuously reduce all of his high cost spells. Just deal, deal with it now. I might have Vow Piece, which is pretty annoying, then he gets another piece of 3 damage. So I might actually Elixir of Iron here. If he doesn't, then. Oh, yeah, he doesn't. Oh, I forgot that ram stance does not deal that, that one damage to the selected unit. I forgot about that. Wow, Kane. That's interesting. I have healing now, you could say. Oh, I forgot that Kane actually cost zero, which is pretty funny. Aftershock. You're such a boring person, like honestly. So here's Kane. I, my, my bad, here's Ross. So that's pretty good. He might just see Ross and might surrender, honestly. Let's see what happens though. Uh, Fang covers it up, of course. Is there any like 5 cost spells that removes landmarks? I'm not sure. He already used 2 Tailstones. Most deck does not run like the third one. Here's the second Howling Abyss. Such a boring person removing my Howling Abyss. But I have a second one, so hopefully he doesn't remove the second one. Give me a good unit now, like Ross. Ross is pretty good. Gangplank. It's pretty nice. I might play Gangplank here. He might bait out a Ruination, honestly. So, sure. He baits out the Ruination. That means I buy one more extra turn for my Howling Abyss to give me another good unit. You could say it like that, so let's go with that. My Ruination. This deck does run at least one Ruination. And Vengeance. If he baits out Vengeance, that's fine. Don't tell me you have like a third after. Okay, Vengeance, that's fine. But the third after Shock to be pretty crazy. I guess I play Ross here and I pull this unit. I attack this. Sure. I get two healing, which is fine. And I push forward damage. That's good. He might vow Vengeance again. Vengeance? What is this? Like, ping spells? Yeah, ping spells, okay. So I don't get a healing. 
But I do trade both of the units, which is fine. And I stole one more turn for my howling abyss, which is also good. Because he might he might actually plan he might actually plan to use the maybe he has the third aftershock, but because I was threatening a, a lot of damage here, he might buy buy me some time to you know get some more value. Oh! One to three or five. That was a mistake. <laughs> now I don't get my champions, I burn one card. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I kinda of forgot that I have like a bolos just draws me a card. I was trying to be mana efficient, but I just yeeted out a level 2 champion that I could have used. Could have been a Radiant Soul. That was a misplay. So, don't have to shot me. Okay, Cloris. You have your fun and I have my fun. I can respect that. Come on. Play Udia here, sure. Shaman. Oh yeah, I don't have one. Shaman. I guess I do this. Fine. I will burn one card, but I don't mind really burning one. I don't mind. I don't mind burning one card for my deck because getting a level two champion is way better, right? Like, like this one. It's just good. Shatter. That's fine. So here, I'm now. I'm threatening like rally. If he, if he like summons a unit to block. Another fan card president. Okay, sure. Obviously, he has the second one. So always attack you. My ram stance, the Q my bear, uh, what my powder keg, right? And because I do that, I can actually rally again with uh, this guy. And yeah, that's a, that, that might be the play, honestly. That's an interesting play, you could say. And I don't really mind killing my tentacle. Well, I can technically buff my tentacle with Iron Akakobolos and be I let it become a 4 4 so I can just kill my powder keg, right? And due to the everything. He might not have an answer for this. I mean, he, he just blocked with the 2 2, right? So that's that. And he's glorious evolution, so he might have something discounted that could potentially ruin me. Let's draw, sure. Now Seraphine is free, basic. Not free, but you know, one cost, he can play something here. Bone skill, wow. I can save, I can save him, sure. I mean, he's just a free rally, you could say. It's still fine. I can ramp stance again. Does, wait, does ramp stance still work? Okay. Scratch that. If I ramp, because just now Lucian was gonna be at 2, right? If I ramp stance and because of Powder Cag, ramp stance deal 2 damage, does Lucian uh, die before he gives me rally? That was an interesting interaction that we would never see. I guess that's his play. I'm cool with that. I mean, I also wanna have some fun, right? I don't know win just yet. Mm, I can just play you, sure. You might need to remove you now if he thinks that you're pretty annoying. Don't just win with a, a lucid follow, that's just annoying. I mean, I can ram stand the lucid uh, follow. Knock them. Sure. That's just a boring champion, though, honestly. Seraphine, that's Seraphine. Awesome. Don't get a Zolver and pull my powder cash and just use a Zolver to kill me. That's just annoying, too. Eh. Sure. It's just a six, a four cost six four that gives me a fearsome. That's just fine, I guess. Wow. Ooh. I'm sure. I, I don't mind. That's interesting. Oh wait, that's not interesting. Oh my. Oh, he's a lucid unit. Has all oh, lucid for his three three now. That's bad. I should try to just win. Next turn, I can just get overwhelmed with a lucid portal. So I can force by two of them. I can heal for three. That's, I can actually do one. I can frost by three, right? Yeah, let's just frost by three. A two. Oh, quite this. Of course, he has quite this. Green. That happens, true. Also, I need to frost by the what? The five five mana slow speed spell. The 30 30. I might need to frost by that unit too. Oh, these fan card presidents are just letting you just generate a bunch of value. Don't be draw. There's some sub fight cards unit that are draw, so hopefully they are draw. Wow, okay. I mean, I can frost by that. But 2 2, because I need to use Uya to win the game, right? Let's just do this. Udia might become big enough that it allows me to win the game, which is interesting. So all of these units are fearsome, right? So I can technically frost by them next turn, so they can't block my fearsome unit. That's an, interest that's an interesting play because I have Shatter and Ice Spear Archer. You gotta remember that. Yep, there's a can. 
I wouldn't be taunting just yet. A chill in the air. So yeah. That's fine. Pass give me a good champion like a really so come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is boring. So all the engines are overwhelmed. Uh, fearsome. You can just block with one set of them. So he just blocks like this. Block like this. I'll be able to push for eight damage only. That's nothing. I guess I will waste shatter here, right? You ruin nations. I mean, I'm cool with that. And he kills with this. He kills this unit, which is fine. I I I frost by right because fearsome units. The I top that into another frost by card, which is also interesting. Ruination? No ruination. Uh, that's pretty annoying too because he might have like get spells that buff the that like pinks like Mystic Shot. That's Victor. I can frost by Victor. Do I frost by Victor though? Because Victor has Orc man, he can technically buff Victor either Victor. Oh these are two twos now, that's pretty annoying. Because if I just frost by he I frost by this unit, right? He just plays a uh, hex hex core upgrade and these becomes 339 and able to block my face on unit. I guess I just do this. Use this summons right and nerf this by 1 1 again. Tom can Howling Abyss. I guess I full attack now. Sure, let's go with that. So he can block with 2 units now. Now I can just block with everything. I'll lose everything with 3 attack. Oh, he, he might get like burst spells right and just buff his, or his unit and because of Rockman, they'll be able to block again. Which is annoying. Always fighting a Seraphine deck is always just come down to chance. Sure, it's a classic. But have you heard the remix? Yeah, that's one of those first spells. Now the yeah, now his units are able to block. Yes, of course. Now more pop cap should. But you know that's fine. Totally, totally fair, right? Totally. Fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. Another copy of the you know thirty thirty. Yeah, totally fair, totally fair. So you block with your dog, but we did die. Yeah, yeah, I block, like, block with the these units, yeah. Let's I just do 3 damage, right? Yeah, totally fair, totally fair. Why do you pink this with Mystic Shop? Yeah. Just, just fair, right? This is just fine. Honestly, I don't know what I'm even talking about, man. This is... This is A-OK. -okay. He's gonna be dropping 2, 3, uh, 30, 30 units with OM. That's fine, honestly. I'm cool with that, you know, that's, that's chill, that's chill. That's fine, you know, that's alright. This game is so fun, right? It's such a good game good game. It's so fair and balanced and I, I don't even know what I'm so worried about. This game is gonna be 100 percent successful in the near future. And elusive too, right? And definitely, definitely get elusive too. And play the 30 30 uh, play the 30 30 units with William too. That's totally fine, yeah. That's fine by me, right? That's totally a okay, right? What's this rally? Oh, you didn't get rally. You got rally from Panga President, that'd be hilarious. What this? Yeah, that's fine too, right? Get that from top there, you know. Do that too. The attack with all of his ephemera units, right? Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Do it, you definitely have it. Yeah. Top take that, right? Definitely. That's a ah, basically, he bow please. So I won't have any blockers. That's so smart, man. So smart. I wish everyone would. I, I wish I could be him, man. Such a good player. Come on. More draw. More draw. Definitely. You always need to draw, right, in the card game. You always need to draw into your good cards and win the game. This is totally, totally, totally fine. Imagine if I get a radiant sword, that'd be hilarious. So, so now he just, you know, attacks with all of his units. I'll be taking like 100 plus damage. This is totally fair. Not 100, 200. That's, this, this is just fine. Fine, right? It'd be hilarious too if I just play soft catch. I won't be able to eat all of his units because that unit is so big. GG.